All right, I think we're good now. I think we are good. Notepad out. Round thirty one. Let's see. Get into the draft here. Challenge, open level. High risk, no type. Well, no type, high risk. Okay, X Bloud. X Bloud 4. Ooh. I haven't really used X Bloud 4, but I don't love it. I hate the mixed aspect of it and having to rely on Mega Kick. It's kind of funny that I had x already pulled up there. That was from a singles match. Um. So, x Um. I mean, I guess Shadow Ball is interesting. Mega does more though. Um, yeah, not super ideal. First Pokemon. I don't think I've ever drafted or swapped for an X Cloud 4. Oh my. S Starmie 1. Okay, Starmie 1's kind of interesting. Con like, Confuse Ray T-Wave stuff is really, really, uh, nice. And then the bulk on Starmie actually kind of helps out, right, against, like, Snorlaxes. I can just T-Wave them and then recover off stuff, so that's kind of interesting. Then they won't rest or curse. Starmie one's certainly interesting. Um, the Psychic Stab, I guess, is nice if I get a solid normal type to pair with it. Um, but obviously I would need something for T-Tars. Ooh. Wow. Espeon 3? Espeon 3 is pretty good, too. Still don't really touch T-Tar, but, like, I mean, Reflect is basically Intimidate. And it's got good matchups into things. Bite's nice. Wish... Eh, sometimes useful, but not so much in doubles. I mean, technically, I could pair Starmie with x Cloud or Espeon. Espeon has... Well, I guess... Starmie has max special attack, too. So Starmie... is still going to be strong. Not as strong as Espeon, obviously. And then the... Uh, Bite? I mean, Bite doesn't really matter too much, right? They're both KO and Gengars. I guess I am faster than Gengar with Espeon 4, which kind of, or Espeon 3, which actually does make it a nice, which is a, is a big deal. And I can at least touch Dark types and flinch them. Whereas, like, right, like Gengar 3. Wow. 
even against Starmie 1, that's doing a ton. It's kind of annoying. That could be a fair consideration. All right. Dodrio 4. Gosh, this might be like a high offense team here. Um... Is that Dojo 4? Wow, Drill Pack straight up KOs Gengars? Whoa. I don't know. I guess I never knew that. That's crazy. Um. Hmm. That's kind of crazy. I mean, Endor Flail stuff is cool, but again, I'm, I'm like really weak to T-Tars. I mean, I guess I have Earthquake on the X-Cloud if I need it. Um, and again, like uh, Metagross, right? I guess I could use Espeon Bite or something, but not super ideal. Hmm. I guess I could, I mean, I could technically keep Dodrio on the back. It's kind of risky switching in. Oh my. Now we have a Flygon. Same speed, which is actually kind of annoying. Flygon 1. Um, I guess the Earthquake helps against T-Tar. Um, I can KO Gengars. That's kind of interesting. Gosh, do I just have to... I mean, I just might have to go with a fast EQ strat here. I might, I might just have to, like. I'm trying to think what I would lose to, I guess, like, ice types I could swap. Uh, it's kind of annoying, because Dodrio's gonna drop to ice types. How much does Starmie take from Flygon? Fifty percent. It's annoying. I mean, I'm pretty much always EQing with Flygon, which I guess is nice against Electrics. Jolteon wouldn't be ideal, but I guess I can endure. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can endure with Dodrio if I'm ever in trouble. That's kind of interesting, actually. Oh gosh, and a Flareon one. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna have to go with high offense here. Yeah, we're gonna have to double up stuff with Dodrio and Flygon. I guess Zap doses get pretty annoying. Question is whether I want Starmie or Espeon in the back. Well, I guess Zap doses, I guess I could T wave, which is annoying. But obviously, I could endure with Dodrio, but... Um, yeah, I'm only doing 30% with Facade, which is annoying. Same with... I guess Dodrio is stabbed, though. 50%. What's up? Thanks for the follow. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Follower goal, 110. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like... I'm kind of locked into leading Flygon for electric types. Um, and Dodrio. I guess Latioses also get really tricky, though. Like, let's say, I guess... I guess I do 66 with Drill Pack. And then... How much would Flygon do? I guess I would do, well, with Facade. I guess I would just have to double up and like, whichever one they KO, just, yeah. Starmie feels, ugh. Let me think about that. What's better, Starmie or Espeon? Both have healing. Obviously Starmie has better healing and natural cure. And it's gonna switch into ice type moves better, but like most ice type moves that KO, are, are most ice type moves that KO Flygun just KOing, um, I guess not necessarily. 
Okay, so there are some some sets that are gonna KO Flygon and not Dodrio. I mean, I'm pretty much relying on Flygon to take out Titars. Because if it's Dodrio with Endure, I mean, but like Espeon's never taking out a, a Tyranitar. Bite's only doing 12. Yeah, I'm doing 21 with Drill Peck. I could maybe get some Bite Flinches, but I'm really just relying on Flygon, which makes maybe Starmie more appealing because I can like T-Wave stuff and kind of pivot around if needed. I can't switch into Electrics with Dodrio, but I guess I just Endure if I see Electric types, right? Endure and EQ. And then actually that's nice because Zapdos will target Dodrio with T-Bolt. Actually, that's really nice. And then I'll get the um, Flail. I might want to swap it out for something later, but I think we kind of have to go with that for now. And at least technically Starmie can survive an Earthquake if needed. Um, only having that Psychic Stab is really annoying. Like Reflect could save Dodrio in some instances, but maybe T-Wave is more... Maybe T-Wave is necessary for some of those... I'm trying to think. Like what, what's going to be annoying? Like Gyaradoses? I guess I can T-Wave Gyaradoses, though. So yeah, maybe T-Wave is nice, because T-Wave Recover can just win some games. We kind of have to go that. Flygon Dodrio. Starmie. I mean, Espeon's nice, but... I think Starmie, especially with Natural Cure, just gives me a lot more flexibility in the teams I can beat. Especially if I want to pivot with Intimidate. Okay, let's run it. I mean, we really don't have that much of an option. We're just going offense. Um... Yeah. Yeah, this is like the best squad. And there is a T-Tar right off the freaking bat. That's insane. I might have to double the Blissey though in case it's counter. High risk. Can't believe they gave me a T-Tar right off the bat. Wow. Could even take that T-Tar in theory, but... Uh, or the Blissey, actually, would be kind of interesting. Um, so... Blissey is likely to be the counter Blissey. How much... Do I do to Blissey four with I, I do forty eight with Drill Peck, um, and I do fifty six with Earthquake. So I will KO the Blissey, and I don't want to get beamed. Um, I guess if it's Tyrantar four, that is kind of bad, but um, that's really bad if it's Tar four. But I don't, I don't, I really don't want to get countered, like. The chance of it being TTAR4 is so low, especially with high risk. So I kind of just have to EQ, hope it's not TTAR4, and then go with the Dodrio. Because I can just Drill Peck it the next turn, if it, even if it was. And actually, it could go for Dodrio. Um, so I think that's fine. I think let's Earthquake and Drill Peck. I don't think like a T-Tar Rock Slide's gonna kill Dodrio. Right, I guess it could T-Wave, which would be kind of annoying. But losing a Poke, I'd rather, I'd rather get T-Wave than lose a, lose a Pokemon right here. Indoor is kind of useless now, which is unfortunate. I guess against like T-Tar 1, does Flygon KO? Yeah, Flygon can KO the non-bulky T-Tars too. So we gotta keep that in mind. Okay. Let's go for it. 
Okay, no quick claw from Titar. That was gonna be the scariest thing. Okay, it's a bulky Titar. No way, did we crit the Blissey? Whoa, let's go. We're getting a T uh, drill peck off on something in the back. Typhlosion, okay. So as long as Flygon lives this turn, I think we're, we're solid. Dragon Dance, okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's Salak. Okay, hold on here. That's interesting. That's interesting. So... Typhlosion. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't good, actually. Because if it, yeah. It actually was not ideal that I crit the Blissey. Um... Let me think about this. Is it just going to endure, though? Uh, no, it might overheat the... It'll probably overheat because it has Blaze. Um, I guess I could switch to Starmie in theory. Um, Typhlosion 3 with Blaze. Well, I guess if it's at 20%. Yeah, he's only doing 47 with Reversal. Um, and he does see a kill in the Dodrio. I guess I could have just Endure rather than swap to Starmie. But Endure, I don't know how that really helps me. I think I would rather just swap to Starmie. An Earthquake. Titar with a Dragon Dance is either going to be Titar 3... Because he doesn't have... I guess he could have countered there. That's actually kind of scary. Or T-Tar. Yeah, I guess Blissey likely had Focus Band. So it's actually probably T-Tar 10. Or I guess it could be T-Tar 8. Or 5. But it's 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 likely not T-Tar 3. But T-Tar... Typhlosion has two high-risk moves. So it could be any T-Tar. And really, any Blissey. But they only have Lum, so they can't really stop Flygon here. So as long as I just Earthquake and switch to Starmie, I'm fine. Okay. Second match. Water, high risk. Uh-oh. It's not ideal. Probably not swapping based on that also. I mean, I guess I could technically swap for the Blissey. I wonder if Blissey or Starmie is better. Mm, can we actually... We can't really determine the T-Tar and damage because... Five, 5, 8, and 10 are all going to take the same damage also, yeah. Oh! And I can't know anything about the Blissey, unfortunately. Water, high risk. Um, that's kind of tough because... Well, I guess to be fair, maybe I keep the Starmie because I would, I would actually absolutely hate to see a Starmie 3 because I wouldn't know whether it's going for Dodrio or Flygon. So that'd be pretty bad. So, removing that from the pool of Pokemon I can face is actually really nice. And I'm not really scared of Blissey's. And Blissey doesn't really help against Titar that much either. I mean, it does help against some... for some swaps, but... Um... I think we're probably fine. I don't want to take Titar into a water type. Uh, 
Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just gonna keep and roll with it. Oh, let's update the record. Hey, what up, Dave? Had kind of a high off offense draft, so we better get some good matchups. Ah. Uh. Um, I'm trying to think what would be pretty bad. Yeah, probably. Okay. So, really hoping this is Sloking 1 or 2. Sloking 3 or 4 are really scary, and I don't really want to play around it. Well, I'm trying to think how I could play around it. Actually, I can't really play around it because... Yeah, that's actually pretty annoying. I can't... Yeah, my best chance to play around it would actually just be attacking right now. Because Rapidash is either going to be 3 or 4, which are fine, because I'm going to KO them. Um... Can't KO him with Drill Pack, which I figured I wouldn't be able to. But Flag on one, obviously gonna kill. But like, the the annoying thing is, uh, with Dodrio four, like with Slow King. Oh, it's a slow blow. Slow, slow bro. Slow King sees a kill fifty percent of the time. And 100% of the time, if it's Slow King 4. The problem is... Um, I mean, it's going to go into Flygon. And there's not really much I can do, because if I swap out... It could be targeting Dodrio, and then that's just a waste. Plus, Flygon is Bright Powder. Factory at 8 a.m. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, Dragon could be nasty. But, like, kind of right here, I kind of have to hope it's not Sloking 3 or 4. And if it does target... If it targets Dodrio, I hope it misses the range, the 50% range, if it's Sloking 3. If it's Sloking 3 or 4, I have to just kind of hope it misses the... Um, um, if it's Sloking 3 or 4, I have to hope it... Um, gets Bright Powdered or something. Or I crit. But, like... Oh, that's flag on one also. So I do 50 to 59. And I do 42 to 50. So I actually have a decent chance to KO if I do double it up. Yeah, it's probably the same. Yeah, it's actually it's 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 slow king four that's specifically the worst. Yeah, I should kill. I mean it, it's a range. Oh, yeah, I keep doing flag on four. And slow king four. Yeah. 55. So I guess I do always kill do I, I do always kill slow king three. It's just four that's a problem. But obviously quick claw is an issue. I never endure because the thing is if I endure and it goes for Dodrio, even if it doesn't go for Dodrio, um if I endure and like Rapidash, you know, overheats me or whatever, which it probably would. Well, then I'm just dodging the Quick Claw the next turn. So it doesn't really matter. Whereas right now, if it's going for Quick Claw, I at least have a chance at Bright Powders. So, yeah, I had a wild draft, though, um, Logan. So I don't know. I mean, I guess this is a pretty solid lead. Uh, earthquake Drill Pack. All right, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Dude. It gets the quick claw and I miss the bright powder. I mean, I would. I mean, I was gonna have to dodge the quick claw this turn or next turn. 
Jeez. Okay, that's not gonna kill though. Yeah, I know it's Starmie one, which is I don't, is okay. Um. So, do I know what Slow King it is? I. I don't. So, I guess the the thing is, there's a couple ways I could play this. So. Interestingly, Rapidash didn't see the kill. Um, and I'm really glad it's not Rapidash 3. So Rapidash 4 actually does get outspeed, outsped, which is nice. There's a water type in the back. I could KO with... So... It's side target. Well, they're gonna target, the Ice Beam is gonna see a kill in a Dodrio, likely. So I could endure here. Like, I guess the, here's, the, here's what I'm thinking about. Well, okay. How much did Rapidash take, actually? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that's what I was thinking, Logan. Um, I also thought about, honestly, like, T-waving the Slow King. Honestly, because, the, be, well, maybe not. Does, so, Rapidash into Dodrio, did it just not see the range? Oh, okay, it doesn't have the... It actually just doesn't see a kill. So, the thing... So... What I'm thinking about here is, I guess if I double this, well, yeah, okay. So doubling this, the thing about doubling the slow king, that's nice, is, actually, can I figure out what slow king this is? I think it has to be slow king four, doesn't it? Cause that did like 43. I think this has to be slow king four. Cause I would do minimum 47 with a drill pack. And there's no way that's 47. So Soaking 4 actually makes this pretty bad because it, it also sees a kill on Dodrio. 100% of the time. So minimum I did 40, 43, so I do 83 minimum. So Psychic will KO. Um... Hmm... Yeah, so since it's a quick claw moment, that's why I was that's why I was half considering just going indoor T Wave. Because at least T Wave removes some of the chance it could it could um, uh, quick claw me then. Hmm. And if Rapidash, well, Rapidash probably sees Double Edge as high, highest move, too. In which case, it took 14%, it'll take another 14, it'll be like in Psychic range then. I could also recover, though. I mean, do I just have to hope it doesn't get two Quick Claws in a row? Because, like, if I endure, even if I paralyze it, there's a chance that it gets gets through the paralysis and goes again. I don't know if I like T-Wave Endure because if it actually does go for me, then the Rapidash can KO me as well. And if I T-Wave Endure, I wouldn't be able to KO both Pokemon. Actually, I might be able to if I could, I could Psychic the Rapidash and Flail the Slowking and get a double KO. But, 
But if I endure and Rapid Ash attacks me and Slow King gets paralyzed... Oh, I guess I could do the same thing. But I might not KO the Rapid Ash if it overheats the Dodrio. Psychic, the Rapidash, and Endor. That is an interesting thought. I'm just wondering what the Psychic type in the back, or the Water type in the back is kind of scary. Like, what if it's like a Lantern and it sees a KO on me? Well, I guess then I can flail the lantern. And there's no water types with... F I guess it could be Dugong. Oh, man. What if it was Dugong and it had Fake Out? That would be horrible. Yeah, the quick one... That's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of wondering is, like... I, I, I don't think there's any way to play around Quick Claw... Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Dave. Whereas if I get rid of the Quick Claw Pokemon this turn, then if I get rid of Quick Claw this turn, then at least I have a pretty good chance to... Because I don't know what's in the back, and I, I don't know that this is... This isn't um, like a guaranteed win, even if I do KO Slowking. I guess I just hope for no quick club. Like it it sounds nice, but like even if I endure, I could get I could get frozen. Like why would I play for 10% freeze and not even like I'm still playing for the 20% quick claw and I'm playing for 10% freeze then. Why would I add that 10% freeze loss chance? So I think I I think I I think I double the slow king. Right? Yeah, I do 20% to slow king. And I did minimum 42, so. Okay, hope for no quick claw. Ugh. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see what's in the back. Oh, I get some Shell Bell healing, too. Look at that. It was like one damage. Uh-oh. Although it can't be the Quick Claw Whiskash. Okay. Crit was going to be scary there. Um... The thing is... Will Whiskash actually go for a KO here? So it's not Whiskash 4. So I guess Whiskash, it could be Whiskash 2 with Spark. I feel like I just, but like Spark won't KO Dojo. I feel like I just recover and then Drill Peck the Rapidash. Yeah. I think I just recover and Drill Peck. I think I just recover in Drill Peck. I don't see why I would do anything else. I guess Spark... Yeah, if it's Spark Whiskash, it would Future Sight, too. If it's Amnesia, I don't think I care. I can't T-Wave it, but I can confuse it. If it is the Surf Fissure one, then that is kind of annoying, but... Eh, I guess it's not that bad. Yeah. I'm just going to recover and drill pack. Crit. 
crit. Just to flex on him. Right, 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 right. I think you're right, Dave. Okay, it just goes for Surf. So I guess it was the Surf Fissure one and it just picked Surf. Yeah, I think it would be Whiskash 3 then, guaranteed. So... How much do we do? 42, we just Drill Peck and Psychic. Oops, 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 not recover. Psychic. Drill pack. I should have flailed just to flex on him. Oh, slow king. Look, you get quick clawed sometimes, but you can at least hope you dodge a double quick claw. I mean, double quick claw. I guess that's only a 4% chance. So it's not even that crazy. It's like a little bit less than a crit. Um. Okay. Third match. Uh, flag on, flag on. It's in the notepad here. That's the leads. In the bottom right. Um, yeah, let's go on. No type, high risk. Oh my gosh, did you really, Magpie? No, 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 no. I got Quick Claw Ice Beamed for turn one. Um, yeah, we're never swapping for any of those. Yeah, I got Quick Claw Ice Beam turn one. So that's why I was like, okay, the chances it gets two Quick Claws, 4%. Like that, I don't know. You kind of have to, when you get down, you kind of have to play risky. Okay. So this is maybe scary. How fast is Electrode? Two eighty-eight. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say this is kind of scary because I kind of have to double the X Cloud in case it's the Ice Beam one. Um, yeah. So I kind of have to double the X Cloud with Earthquake and Drill Peck. Which I guess X-Cloud 3, yeah, uh, it's the scariest, yeah. He's definitely dead. Oh my gosh, he almost dies to an Earthquake. I, I always forget how strong Flygon 1 is. Um, every Electrode is zero speed, but Electrode 1 is slower. Because it's quiet, right. I knew there was one Electrode that was slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Electrode 1's quiet and modest, naughty, naughty. Um... Okay. So x 2 has Focus Band. I guess if it is Electrode with Bright Powder, I mean, it could miss a Thunder anyways. So I don't think that's bad. Technically, I guess Electrode 3 could Endure. But if it does that, then I think I could just Endure. But I don't think it would do that. And surely they... Yeah, I assume, I assume Electrode always sees kills. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That's almost more upsetting than Quiet Moltres. Um, somewhat, but at least it's... Frontier. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think I actually have clicked Swift before with uh, Electrode, believe it or not. I think it was against a Bright Powder Mon that was low HP, though. So it's like, okay, I'm not going to risk a Thunderbolt. Um, all right, Earthquake, Drill Pack. Okay, we, it's not Bright Powder Electrode. It didn't protect or endure, so that's nice. Which I don't think it would ever protect because it sees a kill on Dodrio. I guess counter focus band X Cloud would be kind of annoying. Okay, we did 80. Okay, no focus band. All right, now we get a Lapras. Lapras, Lapras, Lapras. Um. I'm trying to think what the worst case scenario is. It's like they quick claw ice beam my Dodrio and I earthquake my own Starmie. Crit. And then they quick claw ice beam me. Like, do I ever just endure here? I think it would have to. It would have to be Lapras 2. I think Lapras 2 would have to do it. Lapras 4, I don't think. Because. I do 41. And, yeah, Flygun does 48, so I still have a decent chance to KO. Yeah, Lapras 3. It could be Lapras 8, too, I suppose. But I also have Bright Powder, so I'm just going to click the moves. Oh, my gosh. Why did I actually say that? Why did I actually say what was just going to happen? Oh my gosh, I th if I crit my Starmie there, that is a, yeah, yeah. That's why these leads, like, yeah, they're, they're high offense, they're fun, but it's like, they're just so freaking risky. Oh my gosh, they're, they're so, they're, like, there's really just no counterplay, as if, or like, not counterplay, but there's really just no, like, decision making sometimes. It's like, I have to click my moves, and I have to hope that they don't get there. Their RNG because there's just no you can't play around stuff. Um, okay, so it's Lapras two. Okay, so if I earthquake, I will KO. So I think I just but if it ice beams me, what am I gonna want to do? Am I just gonna, let me. See. Starmie one. I think I'm just gonna want to psychic it because psychic has a chance to KO. So I think I just clicked both my moves. Right? Whatever not. Yeah. I think I just clicked both my moves. Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake did more than 50%, so it should KO. Yeah, it's always doing 56. Okay. That's insane. That is gross. That is gross. If I had crit my Starmie, I lose. If I had crit my Starmie, I would have lost. That is just insane. Oh, thank goodness we hit the roll there. I, there, maybe it was a roll. I don't know. It looked like it was close. Can can the Quick Claw Ice Beam Pokemon just calm down? Can they please just calm down? Maybe I need to stop talk because sometimes when I feel, I feel like when I talk about crits, I'll get a crit. So I need to stop talking about them getting their Quick Claws. No type, high risk. Great. No type high risks. The second hand stress. Oh. No, I don't think I want to swap. I think I like Sturmy. The 31 IVs, T Wave. 
And what were the first two? Oh yeah, Electrode and uh, Xcloud. Okay. So there's a couple annoying things here. One being um, fake out and one being counter. So I'm actually thinking of doing something kind of weird. Well, I guess let me check Hariyama 2 as well, even though I think it's less likely to be Hariyama 2. Although, get, oh gosh, given my luck, it's probably Hariyama 2, now that I think about this. Every battle will have a Quick Claw Ice Move Pokemon. So, uh, hmm. I guess what I'm worried about is oh whoops I flipped, flipped those around basically what I'm worried about is if Hariyama fakes out like Flygon and so then Typhlosion gets an overheat off into Dodrio that's what I'm worried about like this situation right here Hariyama fakes out now only the Hariyama 1 has fake out but the annoying thing is, here's the other situation I'm, I'm, I'm worried about. Well, so like... Yeah. Quick Claw Freezer Crit. But the annoying thing is, if I just go with the... If I go with... Well... Okay, so... Here's what's annoying. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Yama 4 has Fake Out, but it doesn't have a high risk move. So I guess the annoying thing is like, Hariyama 1, right? I can EQ Drill Peck doubled up so I don't get countered. So if it's Hariyama 1 and it counters, I would need to double it up. If it's Hariyama 1 and it fakes out Flygon and then Typhlosion just overheats, I guess, well, I guess one thing I could do, hmm. I'm wondering if I swap to Starmie and then I could swap back to Dodrio. Is that ever a play? How much does Starmie do into Hariyama? We don't kill Hariyama 1, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. And so, like, the other thing I'm, I'm worried about is, like, if I endure with Dodrio and I Earthquake and Hariyama 1 counters, I just lose my Flygon. Which is kind of annoying. Hmm. Because Endor, you don't think Yama 1 can counter this turn? I kind of wish it could counter. I feel like I've seen... I, I, yeah. I almost feel like I've seen a Hariyama counter that had Fake Out. Oh, it has to be the double special types? Okay, maybe that's, maybe that's where I was missing it. So if they're double special type, because I, ha I feel like I have seen Hariyama 1 counter on turn 1. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I've seen that before. Um, Hariyama 4 also has scope lens. I guess there's only... Because... Is it just is it just Typhlosion 4 that KOs me? No, Typhlosion 1 does too. I guess Typhlosion 2 would T-Punch, though, which is kind of annoying. Uh, 
Okay. I kind of wonder if... So, like, I guess what's the worst case... So, okay, so so if I if it fakes out Flygon and overheats Dodrio, I guess the annoying thing is I'm kind of in bad position next turn because then I... I, I, I yeah. But if it's never going to counter, I guess I just endure. If I endure, I, like... I pretty much always look good. I don't want to switch into a Thunder Punch, though, from from Typhlosion 2. I guess Typhlosion 4 would overheat. But, like, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess that's the only Hariyama with counter. I guess that's not the worst thing, though, if it did counter. I, I kind of, I kind of thinking indoor. I feel like I can't lose Dodrio this turn, and I also can't take a Thunder Punch from Starmie, and I need to just get rid of this Typhlosion. So I think I'm gonna endure. Yeah, yeah, I like endure. Well, let's see. If it counters, Dave, you are you are so done for. If I mean, if it counters, it what's whatever it is, what it is. What if counter? Oh, counter can miss from bright powder though, right? That's fine. Okay, no crit. So it did like 70 to Hariyama. Um, but it it also, I guess there is a roll for cross chop over Ice Punch. But I think it's likely Hariyama three then. Uh, could be Hariyama 4, but Hariyama 4 likely would have faked out. I think it's actually likely Hariyama 3 then. Because Hariyama 3 has, has a high risk move too. Which also has Quick Claw, but there's nothing I can really do about that. And if it Quick Claws, it's going to go for Flygon, which I think is fine. So I think the biggest thing is... Do we just want to get rid of the Hariyama so it doesn't Quick Claw? Can't tell from the damage roll on Flygon. Oh, uh, I guess I could. 197. Yeah, adamant and quiet. Well, I could tell between Hariyama 3. Um, 197. Maybe I can't tell. 197. Yeah, both of them actually have the rolls, too. So I really can't tell. But I think I think it's like it's more likely to be Hariyama 3 because of the high risk move though. Cause in theory it could have been any Typhlosion. And it could be Venu 3. Or we just KO Venu. Um but do we KO with Starmie? I kind of like KO the Venu, to be honest, and just let the Hariyama live. Yeah, I kind of want Earthquake and then KO the Venu. And then that way, even though it, Hariyama could have Quick Claw, it... Um, well, let me think about this. Yeah, I'm just worried about, like, what if Venu, like... Crits Dodrio or something, and then it's got a 1v1 against Starmie, and it like, you know, crits the Starmie. Versus if I just take out the Venu, then we can both take out Hariyama. So I'm gonna Earthquake, and I'm going to Drill Peck. Although I guess, what if it's. What if it is Venu, like, two. Or one. Because Venu one could sleep powder. So 
Still dead. If it's Venusaur 2, it's not dead. Which is kind of annoying, because it could Giga the Flygon, I suppose. It won't see a kill, though, so it'd probably double team or light screen, if I had to guess. I would also want damage if it was Venusaur 2, though, because Venusaur 2 could get a little scary, I suppose. Hmm. Or would I rather just take out the Hariyama, though? Because in theory, I could also miss the Venu this turn. But I'm going to need to hit it eventually. Yeah, let's just drill pick the Venu. Okay, cool. It wasn't Venu 2. Uh, no Quick Claw, no Focus Band. All right. I'm quite aware when I'm... Oh, yeah, you're fine. Um, water, impossible to predict. Swampert incoming? Hmm. Water, impossible. I think that's like Swampert, right? Oh, Quagsire. Wailord and Walrein. All very fun Pokemon to see. I guess Quagsire, or Quagsire 3 doesn't have a Quick Claw Ice move, though, which is something. Do I even KO Walrein 2, though? I don't even think I do. Yeah, I only do 40 with Earthquake. Ugh, Walrein 2. But I can't take Venu against Walrein 2. That's annoying. It better not be Walrein. Swampert 1 as counter. Um, But it can't touch my Pokemon, so I just have to play around counter somehow. I guess literally... Yeah, how would I play around counter? Oh, I guess I have Feint Attack. Oh yeah, I have Feint Attack, and that would make it rest. Okay. Quagsire. Uh, Quagsire 2 probably can't KO Lion. Wailord 2, I think, would be fine. It's just that wall rain. I literally, like, I'd have to do the same thing, is just double up. I might even take out the other other side, because I think Starmie is fine against wall rain. So I'd have to just take out the other side, hopefully. How bad what set is? The Flygon one? Or the wall rain? Oh, 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 Swampert. Swampert, you can actually still counter, though. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually still counter, which is kind of interesting. There's, there are some uh, the, some Pokemon with the only, like, like Tauros, right? Tauros only has EQ normal moves, so it loses. And there's, like, um, I think there's some ones that like only have EQ and fighting moves, right, that lose to Gengar? So. Um... Yeah, I don't think I want... I think wall rain is the biggest issue here, and, and Venusaur doesn't even really help against that. So I don't think I want that. Um, what was it? Hariyama. Hariyama's interesting, but... I don't... It, I would only like it if it was fake out.
If Hariyama has Fake Out, it's nice, but the IV difference is definitely a big deal. Isn't okay? Isn't this insane? So it's Swamper Clefable, but now it could be Ice Beam Swampert. How, how ridiculous is this? Although, w weirdly enough, in these situations, I feel like it's actually usually both. It's like both the 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 Curse Swampert and the the Clefable with Curse. I don't know why. I just feel like that's usually the case. I honestly kind of want to just drill peck the Clefable and swap Flygon out just in case. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't even know how that really helps me. I guess because Swamper might not see a kill on Dodrio. Yeah, Swampert 3 doesn't, Swampert 4 does sometimes, but again, it's I guess it's likely Swampert 1. I don't want I don't want it to counter, so I guess I just drill peck the Clefable and swap, because I guess Clefable could also be Clefable 3, which actually probably does see a kill, right? Yeah. If I Earthquake, I... Well, if I just Earthquake, though, would I get countered? Flygon 1. If I Earthquake against Swampert 1... Um, I would die to a counter here. Oh, it's so annoying. That is pretty annoying. Against Water, impossible to predict. I just... I feel like Dodrio is more useful. But again, they're likely... They always see kills in the Flygon, so because it's a roll on Dodrio, it's so unlikely that they go, it's so unlikely that they go for Dodrio. So I think I'm gonna swap just in case, because it's never gonna Earthquake, and if it curses, I'll just swap back to Flygon, probably. So I think I swap to Starmie and Drill Peck. I could get Cute Charmed here, which I guess is kind of annoying. Okay, it is that Clefable. Look at that, see? It was both of them. Isn't that crazy? I guess I actually probably double the Clefable here. Because there's no water flying types or water levitate. So it's still not going to earthquake. I guess when will it earthquake? Should probably keep track of it. Um, against Starmie 1, it'll KO at 3, exactly 3, okay. Okay. Yeah, you know your roles, Magpie, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I guess I just double the Clefable. I could even confuse the Swampert. So it's Clefable one, and yeah, I don't, I don't really want Clefable to get a Reflect off or a double team. Um, Psychic and Drill Peck. I guess what I sh maybe should have done is only done one move. Gyarados, uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. So it, it really wants to... 
earthquake now, which is kind of funny. Um, we got a Gyarados, though. Which, it's not Gyarados 2, well, it could be. It, we don't know anything about this Gyarados, except for it's not Gyarados 1. Um, which makes it more likely to be the other Gyaradoses. But Flygon does nothing to this Gyarados. So I almost wonder if I just let myself get Earthquake. Well... I think it's Gyarados 2... Oh, I do 50%. Yeah, maybe I want to do that. I think Flygon wins, but I'm kind of worried about rest stuff. I don't know why. Because if I can waste all of its earthquakes, Starmie automatically wins. But Counter is kind of scaring me. Counter with Curse. Because at pl I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about plus, plus six Curse struggles. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Um, intimidated, I do 40% to Gyarados 2, although Gyarados 3 also has Thunder. Okay, thankfully it doesn't kill. I do 40% also, and I do 50 to 59. Hmm, but if I just swap in Flygon... Then a Facade does 33, so Drill Pack, Drill Pack, Facade KOs. I think I'd rather preserve Starmie. It could be Gyarados 4 with T-Wave. I think that's fine, though. I think I want to preserve the Starmie, just in case, because I am worried about plus 6 struggles. There's a thunder, yeah. Okay, no paralysis, that's nice. Okay, there's an EQ. Now I can just now, actually, that double, actually, that Gyarados has Quick Claw, so I think I want to endure. Wait, does that actually help? Hmm. Why is it always these Quick Claw Pokemon? Do I want to endure here? And Facade? Just get myself to 1 HP? Do I want to endure here? I guess I could always crit the facade, which kind of helps. But I don't want to get thundered. By Starmie. This 50%, yeah. Hmm. I guess I facade, and I guess I could endure. Yeah, I don't think that really changes anything. I guess it could par paralyze me, but I don't think I care about that. I'm just gonna endure. Oh my gosh, it got the Quick Claw. It actually got the Quick Claw. This is insane. There's another curse. Yeah, I guess I just facade and uh I mean how much does I guess 
I guess I keep Starmie. Well, I don't know though. Because Dodrio, it, maybe Dodrio is more worth it. Um, maybe I do swap to Starmie. And I can recover. Because Dodrio uh, against a Swampert, even with like multiple curses, let's say it goes to plus three. I'm at 1 HP. I mean, Flail's still doing 37, which is actually pretty big damage. So I think I swap out in Facade, because Swampert's only cursed twice right now. Okay, no quick line anyways. And there's a counter. So it's only cursed twice and it's countered twice. So I actually think I... Do I just go for a facade right here? And a psychic? Because I think at plus two... Um... Actually, facade does the same as faint attack. So I might as well faint attack and psychic. And that could put it into range. Especially if I get a special defense drop. Oh, just earthquakes. Okay. Now I feign attack and I swap to Dodrio and then I flail. That's two more earthquakes. Now I earthquake and flail. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Always the quick claws. Always the quick claws. I don't think I want those Pokemon, though. No tight. High risk. All right. We are rolling with the Doge, the Dodrio. Heracross Dusclops, okay. I guess Bright Powder could be annoying here. Um, I don't think Heracross outspeeds Starmie though, which is nice, if that does happen. Um, and, oh, it was Dusclops. Um, Dusclops 2 could be kind of annoying. Um, because I can't flail it. And obviously double team junk. But I have to just take out this Heracross. I hope I get, if I get the, but if I get the, um, I guess I have Feint Attack with Flygon, which is kind of cool in, that, in this instance. But if I get the Drill Pack off first, I could Earthquake something in the back. And that would actually help against counter here across too. Um, yeah, like here across three doesn't see a kill ever. Um, yeah, oh, he does 91. Heracross one with counter is obviously the most annoying, but there's nothing I can really do about that. So let's just Earthquake and Drill Pack. Ah, I get the Earthquake off first. That's kind of annoying. Okay, Earthquake did about 45. Let me hit the Drill Pack. No Focus Band. We did 50% the dust glass, which is nice. Flareon. Um, it's kind of annoying. I wish it would have gone for the Dodrio.
So it's either Desktops 1 or 2. And Heracross I did like 50% on. Or 45. Which I guess means it's not Heracross 1 or 2. So it was Heracross 3 or 4. Dusclops is either one or two. It was no type high risk, so I guess it's likely to be one and four, although we have a Flareon, so. Maybe it doesn't matter. Um, so Flareon with Quick Claw Overheat. Does KO. That's kind of annoying. Especially because Flygon's confused here. Um, if it is Dusclops 1, though... Like, Flareon's never going to Shadow Ball. Flareon's never going to Shadow Ball the Starmie. I guess I could, I could swap the Starmie and Endure. I really just want to attack with Flygon. KO the uh, Flareon, but I'm worried about... I'm worried about... Um, a potential Quick Claw Overheat, and then I Earthquake my own Starmie. Or I get confused, and then... Uh, and then Dusclops could even confuse Starmie. But if I, what's interesting is if I swap to Starmie, then it's going to want a Shadow Ball Starmie, which then I could swap back to Dodrio. But I don't really know how that helps. I guess the Overheat, it could, uh, it would lose its uh, plus two. So then, yeah, that does actually kind of help because then Overheat wouldn't KO Dodrio. If it's player on two, that's kind of annoying. Um, hmm. I would think not, but maybe. Oh, wow, it is. Oh, I forgot Clarion is just such bad defense. That's kind of interesting. So I could facade the Flareon. And then just Earthquake. I kind of want to swap out the Dodrio, though. To Starmie. Yeah. Ah. My gosh, it was Flareon 1. That's funny. Wow, okay. Dusclops 1. Flareon is not beating the fraud allegations. So now Flygon is confused and sand attack. I almost want to swap out. It's never gonna, it's, it, it would always bite me anyways. It would never um, flamethrower me. I guess I'd want to or I could T-wave the Dusclops. 57 to 67. Um, actually, yeah, I could just Psychic the Flareon. Maybe, let's just do that. Fine. Drill pack. Let's T wave you. Get 
We're fine with drill pack psychic. Easy. All right. Seventh match. No type, no phrase. Okay. We just gotta roll with the team. We get a good matchup. Okay. You make me go, ah ha ha ha. Gotta change the calc to six IVs. Are you serious? This is annoying because it could be Blizzard. I do have Steel Wing, though, which is... I don't know if that's actually a play here. Ah, Steel Wing Drill Pack would pick it up. Yeah, that's exactly what you just said. <laughs> that's funny. That would pick it up. Um, but for Alligator, there's also one for Alligator with Ice Beam. For Alligator 4, and it's likely to be for Alligator 3 or 4. No type, no phrase. Um, I guess the thing is, for Alligator 3 is going to be worse for Starmie. So, wait, actually, this Alligator Pump surely doesn't KO, does it? Yeah. I might have to go with the Steel Wing. Because this is one of those where it's like, okay, Quick Claw for Alligator is not going to KO. But if it's Articuno... Because I could also swap and endure. Are we going four? Yeah, Blizzard's not KOing. Obviously, it's KOing there. Gosh, I could just, so I could just, but if I swap and endure, the problem with swap and endure, actually, is that a problem? Because if I swap and endure, um, Starmie does. So if it's Articuno 4, the biggest thing, I don't, I just don't want to lose, I mean, I could just double the for Alligator, but I don't know if I want to lose, well, I guess Dodrio I, I wouldn't lose. Um, no, I think I'm fine against Articuno 4. I can always T-Wave too. I can always T-Wave. So I think I'm fine. T-Wave plus Recover kind of beats most of this stuff with Guts Glitch. But I'm kind of... Well... For Alligator is going to... Oh, I guess it won't EQ. Right here. Hmm... This is tricky. Because the annoying thing is if there's an electric type in the back and and Articuno gets rid of Dodrio, then I'm kind of screwed. But the other thing is, if I swap the Starmie for Flygon and Endure, 
I guess what's the worst? I guess the worst case scenario is that Feralgator scary faces my Dodrio or Ice Beams. But I guess Feralgator for does not see a kill with Ice Beam, so it's it's for sure gonna go for Flygon. I would take 10% there. 20% there. Yeah, the annoying thing with Endure is if it's a Blizzard Articuno, I'm just laying it Blizzard me. Although I think it's, it is less likely. It's more likely to be like Articuno 1. Yeah, Icy Wind never KOs, which I wouldn't think it would. Um... Yeah, I mean, Steelwing Drill Peck would be so nice. That would put me in the best position. But do I want to go for a mid-ground position? Well, the thing I'm thinking about... Well, okay. Worst case scenario is I go... is It's for Alligator 4. Maybe I do have to go to for Alligator, because worst case scenario is it's for Alligator 4... And I miss a Steel Wing on Articuno. And then Articuno Ice Beams Dodrio and for Alligator Ice Beams Flygon. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm now Starmy 1v3. Which, that's not like a crazy, I mean, that's not even that crazy. That's just a 10% miss. And then they split their targets. Um. I guess if it's, I guess it'll, hmm. Flying on two with Dragon Claw. I guess this thing is, the thing is, what does Starmie 1 do to Articuno 1? 41 to 45, and what does Jojo do? 48, that's annoying. So I was thinking if it, if it Ice Beams, if it Ice Beams Flygon, then I was hoping I could just double it up the next turn. But I can't do that. Yeah, but I also could just go like Endure and swap to Starmie and then... That's why I was thinking the the... If, if the double up of Starmie and Dodrio killed Articuno, then it would be ideal. Whoa. Is it best to just go for stealing, though? But then again, if, if, if Feralgator just like surfs or does something into Dodrio and Articuno goes for Blizzard, um, I could also lose both my Pokemon that way if I don't endure. I do feel like Endure is maybe not ideal because if, if, well, let me think. It, it, like, basically, if for Alligator, well, no, because if it's for Alligator with Ice Beam, it would. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think about a scenario where, um, where they KO, if I Endure, where if they KO Dojo the next turn and I don't KO Articuno and they like double with an Ice Beam into that slot. I'm wondering if that's a possibility. Every single Articuno is gonna click an Ice Move right now. Every single Articuno. And if I get frozen, I have natural cure on Starmie. So that's kind of cool. As long as I keep Dodrio alive. I'm kind of thinking I end <sighs> Hmm. 
Because there are Articunos with Bright Powder, too, which is kind of annoying. Although, I guess I would have to deal with that anyways. Yeah, I wonder if just... So, I guess, I think double targeting the Feralgators may be the move. I guess the problem is... Yeah, the problem is if there's an Electric in the back, but also the problem is, like, if it's... I guess it could miss Blizzards. It could also miss with Bright Powder. But the biggest problem would be... Uh, it saves my Endor next turn for Dodrio. So if it doesn't Ice Beam Dodrio, which has got like a 50-50 chance to have Ice Beam. I guess the problem is... The problem is if it goes for Dodrio. That's what's annoying. Because if it goes for Dodrio... I mean, I'm basically making a 50-50 call no matter what I do, I think. If I swap out Flygon, I'm either attacking with Dodrio, which is like a mid-ground play, kind of. Um, Psychic plus Steel Wing does. Psychic plus Drill Peck does not. So, uh, Flygon, one. Steel Wing does 53. I mean, usually. Starmie does 41, 48. So it's, it's, a, it's still a roll. But that's a fairly decent roll to KO. I mean, yeah, I could just go for this. Yeah, that's true. I, but then I'm just risking the Steel Wing next turn is basically my thought. So if I'm going to risk a Steel Wing one turn, why wouldn't I just do it right away? But I guess I get set info on Articuno. And the most likely, like... Uh, the annoying thing is I just... Flygon's probably not... I'm just wondering if Flygon Starmie will be able to KO the other Pokemon. Because that's really going to be the key. Is I need to get rid of the other Pokemon so that our, uh, I can 1v1 the Articuno. That's really the big issue. But So how much does Earthquake do in a Frogator? Fifty-one. Gosh, I don't even guarantee KO for Alligator One. Oh man, I don't even guarantee KO. That's really annoying. Well, now I'm kind of back to the Endure. Now I'm kind of back to the Endure. Although there is a Quick Claw for Alligator. So, like, I'm also, if it's that one, I'm, I'm also, if, if I Endure, I'm risking Quick Claw. What's the likelihood I guess I KO? So, 43 to 51. And... So on average, I'm doing at least 94. So it's like a 94 to, let's see, to 51. 94 to 111 roll. I wonder if I can just manipulate it. I can probably manipulate the defenses. No, it's not quite that. Well, a 94 to 111, 11% and, and 6%, it's probably like a 66% chance to Oko then. Yeah. Sucks as, well, it has, Quick Claw Gator has Dragon Claw. Oh man. Yeah, I, I'm just wondering if playing... I've played defensive on... I've played defensive on turns 
on like game sevens that have kind of burned me sometimes though. Well, I guess it hasn't burned me, but it almost burned me a couple times. I guess the I guess the other cool thing is if it well, yeah, I just don't want to get double KO'd. If they split their attacks, that would be really bad. If it's for alligator four, gosh. 66% chance to Oko. <sighs> I don't even know if it's that good going Starmie though and enduring. Is that really that good? I don't like the quick claw and door chance. I guess I don't know what what it is, but then again, I could also just go back to the steel wing steel wing uh, drill peck and just go with the ninety percent. Is that actually better? Hey, maybe that's better. I mean, maybe not. Because if, if I go steel wing drill peck. I mean, yes, Starmie does 1v1, and but Frogator usually isn't that threatening. But if I go Steelwing Drill Peck, um, I mean, I guess there are some Bright Powder Articunos and a Focus Band Articuno. And I guess Articuno 2, it probably doesn't KO. But like Steelwing Drill Peck always KOs pretty much. Right? Wait, is it the same roll? 51 to 60. 53 to 62. And Dodrio is 48. So I oh okay, I do always KO actually. I think I'm I actually rather that, because I have a 10% chance. So I basically have a 10% chance to KO the Articuno. Whereas I have a um or sorry, a 90% chance to KO Articuno versus a 66% chance to KO for Alligator. I just don't know if that's worth it. I think I'm back to Steel Wing. I think Steel Wing is our best option. I think we're gonna go for it. I think we're gonna go Steel Wing Drill Pick. Even though, even though I do Wallet with, uh, with Starmie, I just, I just feel like there's too many things that can go wrong. Yeah. All right, let's hope we hit. Yes! I mean, if you can't click 90% moves, what can you click? If you can't click 90% accurate moves, what can you click? Oh, no focus band. Let's go. Steelix. Oh my gosh, it was Ice Beam. Oh crap. Well, this isn't super ideal. Gosh, it was Arctic, it was for Alligator 4. So that situation definitely could have happened because for Alligator 4 targeted Flygon, if Articuno targeted Dodrio, I mean, I was gone. But saving Flygon for Steelix would have been nice. Yeah, we know it's not Articuno 3, or Articuno 2. It still doesn't really give us that much. It just can't be Steelix 4, which I guess is good. I'm trying to think what... Do I just double the Feralgator? Psychic does 55. Yeah, 55 and 43. I guess I just Psychic the Feralgator. It's not high risk, high return, but there is still a chance at Steelix 3, which is kind of scary. Which I guess I would just be alternating turns with Endure. But I definitely don't want to chip. I definitely don't want to chip the Steelix any more than I have to.
Yeah, I think we just double the Feral Gator. Because it's not going to boom this turn. And well... And I guess I just confuse it. I'm trying to think of... So Steelix won. I'm just kind of curious against Starmie won. Yeah, it would probably it would go for a couple rock tombs. So it would give me a chance to KO. Steelix two. Go for Dragon Breath, which is kind of annoying, but I could just recover until I'm out of EQ range. Although obviously the, the paralysis is kind of annoying there. And Steelix three. Obviously it's kind of annoying. Boom. But there's Yeah, I have to I have to get rid of Gator. There's no other play right now. Oh my gosh. Just hoping not to see boom. Okay. So it's Steelix 2. Um, which is fine. How much does Dodrio even do? 13. Kind of want to confuse it, to be honest. But maybe I just attack. I guess I just attack. Uh, do I confuse it? I kind of like confusion, to be honest. I'm trying to think of how it would even win, though. It would just D breath. Yeah, let's just go for attacks first until it does something. Yeah, we get Shell Bell, I forgot. Still doesn't see a kill. Yeah, it's just attack. Defense falls. Yeah, block. Okay. We're fine. Beautiful. Oh, man. We got through it. Two seventeen. Unfortunately, I was only ever going to be able to do one round today, so we can't go any more. But we're still pushing it. If Wildcat was here, he'd, he'd be typing 83. That's kind of interesting. 217 and 83 swaps. Some scary moments there, but, like, it was kind of an ungabunga round, but... Um, I mean, with a draft like that, I feel like you kind of have to just lean into that. Like, lean into the Unga Bunga and just kind of hope you get good matchups because trying to finagle too much stuff during, um, like, either in the draft or in swaps, I feel like you're just asking to lose. I think I'd rather redraft. 560 from the Reddit post. I think I'd rather redraft, Dave. I, I mean... The problem with, well, okay, for two reasons. One, it's it's uh, it's not a super fun draft. Like, it's just kind of, it's like, like there are some Earthquake teams with Lotties that are kind of fun and interesting still. But, like, that team is just, like, go for it. And I just, I also don't love the idea of just losing to, like, Ice Beams. Especially if people Quick Claw Ice Beam um, or, like, T-Bolt or something. Um, if they if they hit Dodrio and then I have to earthquake my partner, but I will say I do take that into account where like a fire type switches into ice moves well and it's neutral to electric, but in the event that Dodrio gets quick claw KO'd, I do not want to be earthquaking a fire type. So I I usually try to structure those where I have like a water in the back or something. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it, happened, it almost happened a couple times, Nico. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, double quick claw from Slow King, and I was probably done. That's why I just, I don't know. I, I just don't love those um, type of teams. I like, I mean, they're, they're good. They're solid. They'll probably beat 80% of battles just, like, right away with EQ drill pack stuff. But, um, I don't know. There's 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 so there's definitely better teams out there. Oh, for sure, absolutely. I was another quick claw away from losing a couple of those times. So you just gotta you just gotta hope and just play to your best move. Um, yeah, I'm really curious what would have happened there because if I went for the for alligator and I missed, like I said, I I, I either would have gotten our Starmie would have got double ice beamed or no, either Starmie would have got double ice beamed. I could have got blizzarded. And then Ice Beamed. Um, I guess Starmie probably beats the Steelix with Recover, so it probably would have been fine. Starmie would have done pretty well against that team, but I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Well, we made it another round, though. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we will see you all at the, the next stream. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. So, peace. If it was still X3 and it boomed, yeah.